Owning to the current low patient coverage, there's need to encourage more people to join the structured pension system. It may be useful to people capable of an extra saving. The main target group would be the small and medium enterprises, professional firms including small shops, beauty salons, restaurants, micro suppliers, small ICT businesses among others. According to State Minister of Finance, David Bahati, the time is now for every Ugandan to start saving for retirement. It's a desire of government to grow this sector even further so as to reduce the dependence on government in old age. And in addition, we are also uh, working out a contributory scheme by government. Uh, as you know, the problem we have with pensions and all that uh, is because we have not set aside this money. So when time comes for payment, it's not there. We have to budget for it. But if we had a contributory scheme, where every month, every year, we are setting aside the money that the person will get in the future, that will help uh, solve the problems of uh, pensions. Uganda Retirement Benefits Regulatory Authority has been in existence for four years now with a good progress of 55 formal retirement benefit schemes licensed, including two informal schemes. They have also seen growth in assets of the sector from 5.2 trillion to 7.6 trillion shillings. Coverage of the retirement savings now stands about 11% of the entire workforce. Uh, there is a lot of work that we need to do. The launched new campaign dubbed Zabu for Life will help dismissify the misconceptions against retirement benefits as well as educate systems on how best to make correct investments. It's to tell the population that, look, you and I are soon going to be old. But to prepare for that comfort, quality, the Zabu life, when you are no longer actively working, you've got to start now. Fortunately, Uganda, this is a, for, a right time for Uganda. Uganda's population, we are told, 70% is, is 30, 30 years and below. So it's the right time to create this awareness. Yes are allowed to save up to a maximum of this percentage in a particular investment class. So for government securities, you can do up to 80. You have, you have shares, which you can do up to 70. You have real estate, you can do up to 30%. Currently, only about 700 members are actively saving for retirement with a mandatory national social security fund while 400,000 civil servants together with current pensioners are covered with a public service pension scheme. Besides those, there are a few private schemes that have recently been established. A report by Jaliat Namuaya for Urban TV. This media campaign